Hi, de hi, campers, and welcome to your tarot forecast for the week 18th to the 14th of August 2022. Welcome to my lovely Leo campers uh, today to Gypsy Heart Tarot with me, Given Dean. Hope you're all doing well. So this is a reading for anyone who is a Leo, Sun, Moon or Rising. I recommend you pay attention to all three of these signs in your chart as we are a beautiful cocktail of all three rather than just one element. And this will help you gain a more holistic view of your current situation. So make sure you watch all the videos relevant to all of your signs. So let's um, start by blessing our reading today. May the wisdom and love of my higher self and my spirit guides be revealed in this reading and may such guidance show what is best and what is true. Okay then, so let's start by looking at the messages from spirit and the divine to align with your higher chakras of the throat um, third eye and crown, known as Vishuddha, Ajna and Sarasara, um, to be able to connect with your truth and share it with others, connect with your intuition and have an objective view of the world, transcending self-limiting beliefs and to help connect with your spirituality and higher consciousness. Okay, so... We have the chariot for you here. So um, that's showing that um, what we need to know, what the spirit is telling us uh, for this week, is that it's time to get your life in order. It's time to get things on track. Stop being a passenger and get in that driving seat, my loves, and really kind of drive your life in a direction that you're happy with. What direction do you want to take? Have we been waiting for spirit to show us a sign? Should I turn left? Should I turn right? Should I go straight on? Should I reverse back? Are we, have we been waiting or have we been cruising along, letting the universe carry us and going, I'll go wherever it wants me to go? Well, now spirit and the cosmic connection is really telling you, um, saying, this week it will be better for you to actively play a part in your life. Actively get your life in a direction that you're happy with, that you want it to go into, and really know what that is and be confident and make a choice. And kind of now, do I turn left or right, go straight on? Where am I going in life? These are questions to, uh, to look at this, this week. Where are you going in life? Are you driving your life in a particular direction? Or are you just coasting along letting yourself be a passenger? Anything in your life this week will benefit from you taking an active role and for you actually intentionally taking a situation or bringing with you a person or directing yourself towards a person um, or a career or whatever it is that you're, you're looking at this week, this week in a particular direction. We can, um, we do have, you know, the um, ability to choose for ourselves. Sometimes we feel that fate or the universe is guiding us or is telling us what to do and telling us where to go. Well, this is really saying, no, -uh, not this week. You can have an active role and make those decisions for your <laughs> yourself. Okay, so if you're enjoying this video and my content, then please remember to give me a thumbs up and like this video lets me and YouTube know that I'm worth watching so it, so um, more people like yourselves can find me and receive these beautiful messages. You can also uh, subscribe if you want to see more of this content. This lets me know that you're dedicated and committed to my content and wanting to know, to, to know more. And you can also ring my bell if you want to um, be notified of any new content being posted or when I go live. I do have live readings that you might want to be notified for. And also please feel free to share um, this video with anyone who you feel could benefit from the messages today. It's all for free and it's about sharing the love 
of who is me, Govinda Dean. So, let's now look at your root chakra messages, uh, or the Muladhara uh, messages, looking at your fundamental requirements for this week. What is it that you need to feel safe and secure and have stability uh, this week within yourselves, my lovely Leos? Because you're determined, right? Okay, so what you... So your stability and your fundamental requirements could be in a a love relationship a love match the ideal perfect love match that you either are in or that you would like to be in and it's about taking that step so this is also about a um important life changing decision not just about love and romance and getting married or you know, those are life important these are life changing massive important decisions but also if you're in a relationship, it's recognizing this relationship is really what grounds you, what gives you the fundamental uh, existence, what keeps you safe, secure, and gives you stability. And if if you're getting involved with someone, then this, this week, your relationship can go to a very secure and stable place, and it can feel um, that you are um, very stable in this relationship. And about any major decisions, it's a good week if you make any major decisions, any life-changing decisions, like moving home, changing a career, getting married, um, getting divorced, if that's uh, the, the, the case, um, these big life-changing moments um, are going to be very supportive for you, very grounding, um, and make and help you feel very much, yes, this is the right thing for me to do. So consider those big important decisions, things that are coming up. And if it, you are in a relationship or if you are getting involved in the early stage of relationship, this week could be a week to see that relationship getting more serious, getting a bit more um, involved and feeling a lot more secure. So if you felt that your relationship has not been so secure, it's been a bit on the rocks, it can get to that secure place this week. Okay, let's have a look at your sacral chakra messages. Um, or your Svadhisthana messages, looking at your relationships with yourself and others, and your community, basically. Let's see what we are getting uh, for that. Okay. We are getting the Knight of Wands. So really... Um, how do you feel? Well, you feel very passionate. You feel very determined um, in your relationship. So as we were saying, you can drive your life and your relationship in the direction you want. So if you want to get married, if you want this relationship to be more serious, this is the week to drive it in that direction. You may not achieve that this week, but at least drive it towards that decision, to that decision, to that, that, that life. Um, and we're, we're very determined and passionate to, to, to tell someone this. So even if you're in a relationship and it's just in the early beginnings, um, it's important this week um, for you to tell them how you feel, that you feel that they are a very important person in your life, that it's not just a fly-by-night quickie or summer fling. This is actually more meaningful to you important that you let them know how you feel show how dedicated let them know how dedicated how um excited you feel by this and this you know and the way you feel this week about your life where you're directing it where you're driving your life to whether it's love romance marriage divorce or whether it is any other big life-changing important decisions career you feel excited about this change you actually feel excited to be in the driving seat and not in the passenger seat you know or in the back seat it's time for you you know with your creativity or your passions um to really really communicate that really let that come through and really take action you know this is about action now this is a there's a lot of action this week for you on that you know leo and you you do have that willpower and strength to carry this through so embody that right now let's look at your solar plexus or manipura messages looking at your personal power self-esteem and transformations for this week let's have a look at what we're getting 
for you. Right. So, your personal uh, power and self-esteem. We may... Okay, this week you may be lacking. We may be feeling... <laughs> that whatever... Whatever you're trying to do this week is not paying off. So you lose your self-esteem, you lose your mojo, as it were, um, because you're not getting the monetary requirements that you need to survive, that you need to make certain changes or make important decisions. You've maybe been trying to save money for a marriage or been trying to save up to be able to go through a divorce or move house or, you know, emigrate to a new country or start a new business that comes under here as well and we just haven't got the money together or money seems to be on the thin side this week for you and you're kind of like losing your passion you're losing your motivation you're losing your your fire you know and leo's you you're a fire sign so you know know that this week even if monetary or financial rewards are on the slim side there is always something coming up there is success comes up after this we can get help if we if we need it so part of you know solving this situation isn't necessarily you having to do this yourself it's finding that inner strength it takes a lot of strength to ask for help whether it is financial help or advice even doesn't necessarily mean a handout just means getting some help from someone else who knows what they're talking about to give you proper sound advice because you may not be getting good advice so it's like whatever we're dealing with in our life it's important we're not you know our financial situation may not be great uh, our rewards in life may not be happening for us so we're losing our mojo so we can direct our life in towards a better place by asking for help getting some assistance it takes a lot of strength um to really be able to ask for help when we need it and this week you may be able to do that whether it's at work oh look i'm you know admit that i'm not sure what i'm doing with this project or this this task can you can i get some help or guidance then it will only show rather than try to be the strong um energy i will do this no matter what it will show that you are responsible in getting things on track because you don't want to delay a project or de because your part in that is delayed because you're not on track with things you know it's about being on track and and yeah get advice financial advice or if you do need um some money to come into your life this week this is a good week to ask for that from someone who, who can help you because that's coming up isn't it after the five we get the six or we get some rewards coming in so whatever our situation if it's not feeling good if it's not doing things you know our actions what we are doing in our lives we may be thinking i'm putting in all this effort and strength and i'm going for it and it's just not paying off we need to keep going we need to wait a bit longer drive ourselves perhaps in a different direction because this direction may not be working still stay passionate and still stay very focused on where we're going and stay focused on your change on what it is or your decision or your important thing in life what is more important recognize what's important and this is this is just a flash in the pan this is just a momentary dip this is not a long lasting dip the five is not a massive thing it's a slight dip so we can we can survive this i think um let's now finally look at your heart chakra or anahata messages uh for this week looking at how your how you can promote love serenity balance and healing in your love and relationships and we get the three of swords okay now that is really telling me um to not hold on to upset no the way, to, the way to help our relationships, our important relationships, our meaningful relationships, the way to keep our relationships on track, the way to still feel to feel dedicated and passionate and re reignite the passion in our lives, 
to not feel that our relationships are losing out, we're on a down, on a slump in our relationship, is by not holding on to the upsets. If anything has happened, if someone said something wrong, if something done something wrong, it it looks like it feels like it's it's quite it's quite minor. And actually, what's more important here? The fact that they made a mistake, well, we're only human, or you may have made a mistake, you're only human. And what's more important is the love and compassion. The fact that you, the fact that you are so heartbroken by this shows how much you really do still love that person and still care. Because if not, you wouldn't be heartbroken. You'd be like, well, you've done this thing, you said this thing, and I don't care because I don't really love you, so jog on, mate. You know, it's not like that at all, is it? Because you really do feel things wholeheartedly and it feels like you're heartbroken it's and because it's a three it's more insignificant than we may be giving giving value for we may be giving it way too much focus and way too much value and holding on to the upset holding on to what was said or what was done and that is festering inside us and ripping our heart out when really the actual action or what was said is probably a lot less significant than that to be honest so this week is about not holding on to upsets or disagreements or things, especially when we are feeling that things are not going well, things are picking up again. But how do we pick them up again? By getting in the driving seat and driving them forward. So if we've had an argument with someone, maybe rather than this week sitting in on the sofa, I'm not talking to you, um, I'm focused on my, my Facebook or I'm watching the TV and ignoring the person, we can actually actively drive th that energy to a resolution and say, okay, look, let's let's forget it, let's let's end it, um, let's end this upset. You know, it's not worth it because what's more important here, the upset or your relationship? What's more meaningful? Well, I can tell you now that what's more meaningful is your connection with this person is much far greater and it's a major card it's far more of importance and significance in your life than the actual problem that happened or what was said so while while it does feel very strong and you do feel very strong about what was said and maybe you're right to to, to, to feel that uh we can communicate how we feel then look that upset me a lot but doesn't mean you have to hold on to it for the rest of the week because it will only fester in the relationship. Nip it in the bud. Say, look, that really communicate that. The heart is about communication. It's sword energy. So it's sword within sword. So it's a great energy this week to communicate how upset you feel. But then allow that communication to let things go and not hold on to it. Because if you hold on to it, it will fester in you. It will fester in your relationship and it will cause problems. We can actually drive this relationship to a better place. We just have to you know allow that to happen and that's the same for any relationships really any heartfelt relationships in your life and around you with whoever friends if anyone's upset you communicate it tell them that you've upset they've upset you but then move on don't hold on to it don't let it fester my loves all right i hope this reading uh, has resonated with you um, you can come back to this reading as the week progresses if you need any reminders. It's always good to do that. And if you like a personal reading with me, then you can scan the QR code on screen with your um, camera on your phone. Or you can click in the link of the description box below. And you can visit my site, givinadeem.com, to do that. Um, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe and share this video on social media. It would be so fab to let more people receive these beautiful messages for you, um, my lovely uh, Leos. And also, um, you can watch more videos like this by clicking uh, the links at the end of this video. And I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all again in the next video. Love, light, peace, and joy to you all. See you all very soon.